What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are doing another uh, Omni Buddy Travels. I think is the segment it's called because uh, it's been a long time since I've done a traveling segment. Pretty much because I haven't been traveling much because of the pandemic and all that. So we are about to check out a local comic shop here in Ellensburg, Washington. So I'm always excited when I uh, go to one of these towns that I don't expect there to be a comic shop. And it looks like, at least from Google, there's some pretty good, uh, pretty good comic shopage going on here. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, so met the shop owner. Uh, his name's Gus. Super cool guy. Let's get this in color there. Yeah, super cool guy. He's been in in uh, in business for like 20 years now, and knows my LCS uh, Gabby. So that's kind of a cool connection. Uh, everyone in Washington kind of seems to know each other with these uh, comic shops. That's awesome. Uh, super cool guy. Super cool store. Always uh, some people. The video I was taking in there didn't show anyone because I was trying not to show people but always a steady stream steady stream of people coming in and out which is super cool to see love to see uh comic shops getting love and seeing you know just being patroned by the community so that you know they ain't dying we got to support our lcs and speaking of supporting our lcs i had to uh pick up at least one book so i grabbed ashes ashes which is by one of my upcoming i don't even know if i'd call it upcoming at this point he's one of my favorite uh writer artist guys and he does some some, some phenomenal work and again there's a magnetic press book which uh, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time you know that i've been really in a magnetic press so had to pick that up uh super cool they also had after the fall that i was kind of looking at too but decided you know what it's jd morvan gotta go with my man mr morvan uh so that's pretty cool and like i said yeah he's been in, in uh business for like 20 years and super cool dude super relaxed a lot of games in that store really cool to see so many board games in there and ton of miniatures a cool you know single issue section pretty well organized which is super nice and a lot of them have price tags on them for the older comics which is really nice and not something you see every day a lot of times you just dig through bin after bin and long box after long box and then you find an awesome comic and then you walk up to the front and they uh hit you with the old google search and then you're like oh they're gonna hit me with a crazy price or something like that but um not here he uh he's got them all priced out at least so you kind of know what you're getting into which is super nice and i can totally appreciate that uh not a huge selection of hardcovers or collected editions basically uh two i think five by five calyxes front and back and uh i think two uh two by four calyxes front and back not totally full but had some really fun stuff in there not organized by like marvel and dc and not organized by publisher but organized by uh I, mostly alphabetically so uh kind of fun i appreciate organizing by publisher, but it's also kind of fun to go into these shops and 
uh, just have it all alphabetized or <laughs> even uh, at least with collected editions, not single issues, but uh, with collected editions to just have it just chaos because really fun just spending an hour or two just digging through and looking book by book and seeing what they have rather than just going to your typical like oh, i'm gonna go check dark horse or marvel or whatever uh so at least they had them organized by uh by alphabetically so that was cool like if i had an idea oh i want to check for this book okay it's there it's not there whatever um but mostly alphabetized and just kind of searching through spent i don't know how long did i spend in there just over an hour in there uh poking around talking and uh tons of pops holy cow and some really cool pops didn't end up buying any i re i almost bought some hellboy pops almost bought a lobster johnson um and abe sapien if they had hellboy there i probably would have broken down and bought hellboy liz abe and lobster johnson because I really want those four. Um, so it's good they didn't have Hellboy in there. So I didn't do that because my wife may have murdered me for buying pops. So I was able to uh, abstain from that, that temptation at least. But uh, yeah, that's it. It's a cool little shop and really enjoyed it. Really cool place here in Ellensburg, Washington. And uh, yeah, it's Central City Comics. Uh, really cool spot. Uh, so if you're ever in central Washington state, uh, hit them up, check them out, uh, and buy something from your LCS or buy something from a brick and mortar comic shop. I know I always push, you know, organic price books and they're awesome, but you also do need to go out and support local, local shops too, cause that's super awesome and, uh, need to do that. But if you are traveling, make sure to just Google comic shop or a comic book store or something like that. That's what I do. And I just kind of hit up the first, I look through the first couple, if there's more than one in these smaller cities. And you know, if I have some time before dinner or after dinner, I got to get to dinner here soon uh, for work. But uh, if you got a couple, if you got an hour or something to kill, don't just sit in the hotel. Don't just uh, poke around walking through the trinket shops find an LCS, find a comic store, and uh, go check them out. All right, that's it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things. But again, the most important thing, comment. What is the coolest thing you have found at a comic book store that you have randomly walked into? Uh, it could be like a crazy whale, could be like a really cool statue, um, cool setup, whatever. Let me know what a cool thing is or the coolest thing is that you've come across add an LCS that you've just randomly walked into. Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay safe.